an amendment to offer? Okay, Madam Clerk, have the copies of the floor amendment been distributed to the members? Yes, Mr. Speaker, copies have been distributed. Okay, Representative Thielen. Mr. Speaker, I move that the amendment to House Bill 280, House Draft 1, Senate Draft 2, CD1, pass. Okay, Representative Ward. Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. Okay. Representative Thielen, the chair. Thank you. For discussion. Mi Mr. Yeah. Speaker, this time I'm standing up in support and in support of farmers. There was a measure, Mr. Speaker, that almost made it through the legislative process and unfortunately died because it was amended into a form that was incomprehensible and unacceptable to farmers. So going back to the Senate draft two, which is the basis of this amendment, this is what is before us now, to pass and to protect farmers. It keeps the false labeling of Hawaii grown coffee in the bill because that is a good measure. But the amendment brings forth what we have needed to do to protect our farmers and to protect um, our agricultural community and also be able to have homegrown, or pardon me, local grown food put onto the table for our community. Mr. Speaker, when we take a look at how hard the farmers worked on that original bill and realize that we asked them to take their time out of their busy days leave their farm, leave their ag production, and come in and testify before this um, body. And the bit measure was food sustainability. I mean, that's something we all in this body should be supporting. The food sustainability was important. It would um, help the farm economy. It would bring more new people into the farming community because we would be expanding this through food sustainability standards. And the food sustainability standard was to be achieved by the year 2020. That's eight years out from now. But it would increase the amount of food grown in this state for local consumption, double the amount grown by 2014, that's within two years, and then keep moving ahead with the food sustainability objectives. The bill was excellent, Mr. Speaker, and the farmers were distraught when all of a sudden a new version appeared that made no sense and talked about housing and all sorts of other things that had nothing to do with our farming community. So this bill, this amended bill, simply goes back and puts forth a measure that everyone was supportive of and it deserves to pass. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Do we have any further discussion? Representative Ward. Speaker in support. Okay, please proceed in support. In the Constitution, it says we will preserve agricultural land. Right now, Speaker, land is being used to grow weeds and houses. This amendment gets it back to its initial intention, food. And Mr. Speaker, the farmers have a tough road to hoe, literally and physically. We need to send a gesture to them that we're serious about getting more food security, more food sufficiency, and this amendment will do that. It protects the coffee growers to the other part of the bill, and with this amendment, makes us true to our Constitution. It's in there, and this bill should be amended to have this component within it. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Representative Revere. In support. Okay, please proceed in support. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the, uh, this bill started out from the House, uh, left the House with support, passed through the Senate, came back uh, not significantly changed, relatively similar. So the two bills going into conference committee were not uh, terribly different. Unfortunately, there was a, a conference draft that was submitted which was horrendously different, included all kinds of things, a kitchen sink, and um, I think that torpedoed the project. So I think it's a travesty that a bill that so many people testified on and went so far and really had not that much opposition uh, in both ch uh, chambers uh, was scuttled in such a way. So, and for those reasons, I would support the inclusion at this time. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you very much, Representative Ching. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, in support of the amendment. And um, I wanted to reiterate that, you know, good legislation, we want to pass good legislation. We want to hear the voices of our, as was said by the representative of Kailua, our farmers. This is a goal, this is an important goal to the health of not only our people, physical health, but the health of our economy. So I'd like to ask that the words of the representative Kailua and Wailua be entered as my own. Thank you. Okay, so ordered. Representative Thielen, second time. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I know it's the second time. I just was wondering if the members are really aware that uh, Hawaii has a supply of fresh produce for only 10 days. If things are cut off, which they could be due to other crises in other regions, we have 10 days worth of fresh produce. That we also um, import approximately 92% of our food. Those statistics should be alarming to members. And this bill will reverse those appalling statistics. The bill is necessary, Mr. Speaker. We don't need to delay another year. This had the support of the agricultural community who worked hard to pass it, and we don't need to delay. We can't afford to delay. So this measure should pass the in its amended form. Thank you. The floor amendment. Okay. Any further discussion?